Hey everybody, welcome to another lesson here. This is still in the ratio, proportion, and percent category, but this lesson is about simple interest, which is page 272 in the GED book. Um, so let's get started. So the key ideas, let me zoom in a little bit. Let me make this a little larger. Okay, simple interest is found by multiplying principle by rate and time. So I equals PRT. So interest, st I stands for interest, equals P, principle, R, rate, and T, time. The term must be, sorry, the time must be written in terms of years. Write months as a fraction of a year. To find the amount paid back, add the principal and the interest. Okay. So, let's go ahead and this basically gives us an example here. Um, let's see. So, we know we need to multiply everything. So, let's do this. Asher borrows $2,500 from his uncle for three years. I'm just sorry, I'm pausing because I'm trying to decide if I should read this here. I will read this. Okay, starting with interest. Interest is a fee paid for the use of someone else's money. If you put money in a savings account, you receive interest from the bank. If you borrow money, uh, you pay interest. Sorry. Yeah, if you borrow money, you pay interest. In each use, the case, uh, in each case, sorry, the amount that you invest or borrow is called the principal. Simple interest. Simple interest is a percent of the principal amount by the length of the loan, uh, multiplied by the length of the loan. The formula for finding simple interest is given on the formulas sheet of the mathematical reasoning test, um, see page 413. I already went to page 413. It's basically this right here. Excuse me. I equals PRT is exactly what it says. And it spells it out. Principal, rate, and time. Okay, so um, I'm not going to do these examples. Okay. The only thing I will say here is um, basically what it says about some problems ask you to find the amount paid back. So... For example, the interest equals the principal times the rate times the time. So say that equals 450. 450 is your interest, okay? So the uh, total amount paid back, however, would be the 25. You would pay them back 2,500 plus the 450. So the total amount in this case would be 29.50 or 2950 all this is all this is alluding to so without further ado no I said that wrong okay did it on purpose so don't judge me <clears throat> I'm not teaching uh, language here I'm teaching math even if that were the case okay so solve the problems using the formula for simple interest, you may use your calculator. Thank you so much. I think I will use my calculator. Okay. Leah borrows, or Leah borrows $1,500. Okay. So $1,500 is... Okay, well, let me read this whole thing first. Leah borrows $1,500 for two years at... A 12% interest rate. Find the interest on the loan. So we have, remember it's P times uh, R times T. So 1500 is the P, which stands for principal, times rate, which is 12%. Do these silly little things here. Um, times. What do you call it? Time. 
So that's for two years, okay? So we have interest, which is not interest, sorry, percent, which is the rate. And we have time, which is two. Okay, two years, that is. So let's go ahead and do this. 1500 times. So I don't know if you guys watched the last lesson, but anytime you change this percent, um, this percent to a decimal, which is what you need to do here, you take the decimal, which is after the two, and move it over twice. Okay, now we have 0.12. Okay, so let's see, 1500 times 0.12. And just by the way, it's always two spaces, okay? If there's only, if this was a 9 or an 8, then you would move it twice as well. Then just add a 0, okay? So we have here, we did 1,500 times 0.12 times 2 years. Okay, let's clear that because something went wrong. 1,500 times point twelve times two equals three hundred and sixty so three hundred and sixty is the answer for number one okay now that you kinda know how to write it let's just do it on the calculator so how much interest would you pay on a loan of $800 for six months at 14%. Well, I'm going to write this one out actually because we have $800 times the, pers the rate, which is 14%, times reason I wanted to write this out is because it's a fraction of a year. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. It's kind of late, so I'm a little tired here. So we have principal. We have rate. And we have time, which is six months. Okay. Um, so... Again, we know that there's 12 months in a year. So 6 over 12, we know this would be half, okay? And how we would write that is 0.5 is the, what do you call it, is the decimal equivalent of half. So we have 800 times 0.14, remember move decimal over two spaces, times 0.5. Okay, so that number is 56. Okay. Let's clear this. Okay, let's do number three. Dominica say uh, invested two thousand dollars for three years at an interest rate of seven percent. So we have two thousand times. So in this case here, remember I said the percent. You need to turn it to a decimal, so you move it twice. So in this case, since there's only one digit, go over like this. Go once, then twice. Now the decimal is here. And you add the zero. It's always twice, guys. Okay, so 2,000 times 0 0.07, okay, which is the rate, times... Three equals four hundred and twenty. So that's your answer. 
How much interest did she earn on her money? She earned $420 of interest. Okay. And it actually doesn't really matter if you do um, um, principal times rate times time, whichever. If you would do principal times 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 rate, it'll still come out the same. Okay, number four. How much interest would you earn on an investment of six hundred dollars for eight years at ten percent interest? So we have eight hundred dollars times the rate, which is point one. We could put zero. But any zero to the right of a decimal, if it's the last zero without any other numbers other than zero after it, um, will add absolutely no value to it. So I'm just going to leave it at one. Okay, so we have 600, are we on four? Yeah, 600 times the 10% um, times eight equals 640 let's see I feel like that's incorrect let me do that one more time so we have 600 let me read that again how much interest would you earn on an investment of 600 times 0.1 times eight equals 480 okay I'm not sure what I did incorrect the last time but look at your numbers see if they make sense okay so number five Todd invests six thousand five hundred dollars for three and a half years so remember what Three and a half means, guys, three, remember what I said earlier, half is equivalent to 0.5 decimals, okay? So, um, Todd invests 6,500 times 5%, which is point. Zero five times three and a half years, so that would be three point five. That equals eleven uh one thousand one hundred thirty seven dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so when you write it down, put a zero behind the five. Again, they don't show the zero because. It has no value when it's past the decimal on the right side of the decimal point at the end. But when we're dealing with currency, we do indicate cents by having two digits here, okay? So go ahead and use the second digit. Okay. Ricardo borrows $1,850 for eight months at 12% interest. Okay, this one gets a little tricky. So, we need to figure out eight months. It's a little, so eight over 12, it's not half, okay? So we actually need to figure out how much this is. So, what I like to do is, I like to set it up. So we know that 8, 12, 12 indicates 1, or let's say 100%. Out of this number here, 12 is the standard, which is 100%. So if there's 12 or 12, then you'd have 1, okay, which would be 100% of, you'd have 100% of 1, okay. So we could solve this like a percent problem. So we want to, we know that 12 equals 100%. So let's write an equivalent 100% here. 
Okay. Um, so to find out 12 equals 100%, to find out what 8 is equivalent to, we need to do like the proportion about two lessons before this one, I think it is. So we multiply 8 times 100. And just to know, let you guys know, guys, this will always be 100. So you have two variables here. You have 8 months, which is 8 months out of 12 months equals 1 year. Remember in the beginning it said we're deal we deal in simple interest. Interest is dealt with in years, okay? So 12 months, and we have 8 out of 12 months, okay? If you're trying to find the equivalent, the equivalent percentage will always be 100. The bottom will always equal 100. Okay, so you'll always know you at least have that. As long as you have these two numbers, you know that this one is 100. So 8 times 100, this is how you find the problem. 8, so this is the variable, the missing variable that we're trying to figure out. So you always multiply diagonally towards the side with the missing variable. So 8 times 100, we know is 800, equals 800. Then you divide um, towards the last remaining number that has not been used yet. So 8 times 100 is 800, then divided by 12. So divided by 12 equals 66.666 blah 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 okay so this is 66 percent point six six and you have this many sixes on the third one put a line there then you know that it's just infinite sixes and I always stress that you should know your fraction um, decimal equivalents. Okay, there's a chart that has your equiv your equivalent decimals and fractions. Okay, so knowing that this here, we know that this always equals two thirds. Okay, so we can go ahead and we'll know that eight months out of twelve months is. 66.666 out of 100, which is equivalent to two-thirds. Okay, the 3 being 100%, just like this 12 was 100%. And then the 2 is the 66 out of the 100%, which is the 3. Okay, so let's see. Now that we are armed with that... If you do, if you um, times it like this, it's better to times it by the fraction because it will come out. How do I explain this? It's this here isn't an exact number. You can't really get an exact number out of um, thirds out of a hundred. Okay. So, but that's as close as it will get. It's very, 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 very close. Okay. So let's do this. Um, we have 18. Well, I'm just trying to think here how we can actually... Multiply this. We'll actually have to do this one on paper. So we have 1850, 1850 times the percent or the rate, which is 0.12 equals 222. Okay. So we have 222. We need to now times the rate or times the answer to what we just got which was the principal multiplied by the rate okay you need to times that by 
two thirds, okay, which was the 66.666, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, we need to make this into a fraction. So we don't want to lose the value of 22, 222. So we just put a one here, okay? Because one means that you have still the same number, which is 222. Okay, now we try and cancel out, which is, this isn't really a fraction lesson, so you should know your fractions by this point. But um, anytime you have, you can add these up, two plus two plus two is six. So if this number here is divisible by three, then you know if the if the product to the or not product if the if you add these up two plus two plus two, okay, and it equals a number that's divisible divisible by three, which this does, it equals six, okay, then you know that three actually goes into 222. So 222 divided by three equals 74. So we can cancel this. It now becomes 74. And cancel this and it becomes one. Now we have 20, oh, sorry, two times 74 equals 2 times 74 equals 148 over 1 times 1 we know is 1 just like this was still 222 148 over 1 is 148 so equals 1 48 and that is the answer for number six okay actually no it's not the answer for um, number six <sighs> pardon me okay because it asks what is the total amount he will pay back at the end of the loan so we have 148 here okay which is the interest that he will accrue Plus, we have 1850 that he originally borrowed. Okay, so we have to do 148 plus 1850. That equals 1998. So the total amount that he will pay back is 1998. That's the principal plus the interest. Okay. Now we are on number seven. Yanira puts 5,000. Not sure where they come up with these names. Yanira. Okay, Yanira puts 5,000 in an investment account for four years. If she paid eight and a half, if she paid eight and a half percent simple interest, how much interest will she earn? So 5,000 times eight and a half years uh, eight and a half percent which we know um, half is 0. 0.5 okay so let's do this because you're after I put this in the calculator you're gonna be why is it like that because this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to put 5,000 times 0. 0.085 Five. You can be like, what? But I'll tell you why. Uh, let me erase this. So we have eight. If she paid eight and a half percent, so remember, eight point five. Remember, half equals point five. Okay. So we have eight and a half years. And remember, we're, we're trying to, when you do the percents, you have to move the decimal over twice. So we go like this, then like this. We add the zero here. Now we have decimal here, zero point, uh, point zero 0.085. Okay, so 5,000 
times 0 0.085 times 4 years equals 1700. So the answer to number 7 is 1700. Okay, let's move on to the lower section there. Okay, so Jean borrowed $1,300 to buy tools for her job as an auto mechanic. The loan is for one year, uh, six, one year and six months at 9% simple interest. Okay, so we have saying simple interest just so we know that it's, we have to calculate by years. Okay, 1300 times the rate which is 9% which would be 0 0.09 times 1 year and 6 months which would be just like the last one we did um, 0 0.06 sorry uh, supposed to do one six okay so we have actually guys this is choose the one best answer to each question you may use your calculator so we don't actually even have to calculate this you just have to choose the correct way to do it so let's see here we have 1300 which is the rate uh, sorry principal then we have the um, the time, which is a year and a half, does equal 1.5, okay? Because half a year is 0.5. And then we have times 0 0.9. So this is actually, A is the best answer, because that's exactly how you're supposed to do it. Because, for example, looking at here, 1300 times 1.5 times this would actually be 90 percent okay but it's not 90 percent it's nine percent so that being correct same with this and that as well the answer is a okay moving on noah borrows eight thousand dollars for five years to make improvements to his home office if the simple interest rate is 6%, how much will he pay interest? So 8,000 times 6%. Oh, what? Stupid. Sometimes I need to push this clear twice. Okay, 8,000 times 6%, point zero six times 5 equals 2400 so a is your answer here as well the interest will be 2400 so Caleb borrowed this number 10 Caleb borrowed 1500 from his aunt he plans to pay his aunt back in nine months if he pays four percent interest on the loan what is the total amount he will pay back in nine months so we know nine out of twelve this one's easier to figure out because three goes into to both of these numbers three goes into nine three times three goes into twelve four times okay so it's three-fourths um, can it go any lower no not really so three-fourths Caleb borrowed, let me get the calculator, 1500 from his aunt. He plans to pay his aunt back in nine months. So, guys, three-fourths in decimal equivalency is, again, important to know your equivalence, 0.75. Okay? Think of this as three-quarters out of a dollar, okay, which requires four-quarters, equals 75 cents. Um, so we have the calculator, 
So Caleb borrowed fifteen hundred. Okay. Times the rate, which is point zero four. Times the nine months, which is point seven five equals 45 so now let's remember says what is the total amount he will pay back in nine months so we have 45 here which was the interest amount and then we know he borrowed 1500 so we have to uh, add uh, 45 plus 1500 that equals 15.45. Stay in line. Okay. Let's see. That is B, by the way, in case you were wondering. Okay. So, questions 11 and 12 refer to the following information. Charlotte needs to borrow 2400 She is considering the three loan options shown above how much more interest would charlotte pay if she takes loan option c instead of a so loan uh, let's start with loan option a okay so we basically need to find the difference loan option a is she borrowed twenty four hundred dollars times the rate on A here, which is 12%, so uh, point 0.12 times, remember half, two and a half years, half is 0. 0.5, so 2.5 equals 720. So option A is 720, okay, that's A. Option B is, let's see, she still borrows the same amount, times, actually, sorry, this option C we're trying to figure out. So times the rate is 0 0.09 times four years equals 864 so option C is 864 and it's asking how much money will she save if she chooses option A so of course we just need to um, subtract 0 minus 0 is 0 6 minus 2 is 4 8 minus 7 is 1 And there's not that option there. So I think, uh, yeah, I did something wrong here. Let me see. Pro uh, 864. That's the issue. This is supposed to be 4. Hmm. 864. So 4 minus 0 is 4. So there we have it. It's option B saves $144 okay last one is Charlotte chooses option okay Charlotte chooses option B but she decides to borrow 2800 okay so 2800 what is the total amount she will pay back when the loan is due? So 2800 choose option B times 10% point 0.1 don't need to put the zero because anything to the right of the decimal does not matter um, times three years 840 okay so it's asking how much she'll pay, she'll owe, or have to pay back. So we have the interest amount, which is 840, plus the total amount that she borrowed. So plus 2,400. 
equals 3,240, okay? So at the end of the three years, she will have paid back 3,240, which is B here. Anyways, guys, I hope that helped. Um, if you appreciated it, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as possible. Thank you very much. Um, if you know somebody that is doing the GED as well, go ahead and share it with them. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And see you next time.